Ah, okay. So mm -hmm. then, uh, uh, then we will go to the next one. Let's go to uh, Jamil Chade, our friend based here in Geneva, representing a number of uh, Brazilian uh, press. Jamil, please. Uh, Tarek, thank you very much. This is Jamil Chade. My question in Portuguese. Uh, Sir Tedros. Uh, Dr. Tedros, my question is about the specific situation of the city of Manaus in Amazonia, which has a very high number of cases and the prefect of the city is calling for international aid. And uh, there's a great deal of concern on this issue in, in Amazon. And is there any specific aid from the WHO for Manaus and the Amazon region? Yeah, uh, as you know, we're working with the government of uh, Brazil, so we will continue to work with them and address, um, you know, or give any support they need. Thank you. And if I may supplement that, on request we, um, of the government of Brazil, we've very often in the past uh, worked at state level, and we've done that uh, with yellow fever in the past on, on many occasions. So. Obviously, uh, uh, and we have a strong uh, WHO country office there, or a PAHO uh, country office, and uh, we stand uh, willing to provide direct technical support to, to any state uh, um, through the process of a, a government request uh, to do so. If I could just add, it's not specific to Brazil, but just to say that in this new normal that we're in right now, where we're not able to travel, we're not able to get to all of the places that we would like to get to, we're finding new ways in which we can try to provide support to countries. And uh, in some countries, we're doing these virtual missions um, where we have a, a set uh, agenda and meetings where we're having these missions over Zoom, over Skype, over whatever platform that we have. Um, but just, so just to, to add that even if we physically can't get to a location because of the pandemic, um, we're finding different ways to provide support where that support is needed and as that support is asked.